Hello all, welcome back to my channel Data Sculpture. Today we are going to see how to change the y axis of a bar chart, in, bar chart in Power BI with the help of slices. So, before going that, I'd like to explain what, the, what is the current model we have. So, this is an AdventureWorks uh, database. Uh, we have the following tables here is the currency, here is the currency rate, customer, date, product, reseller, sales sales order and sales territory so in this current chart um, i have shown you i have kept the x-axis as country and y-axis i have created few measures in the sales table so one of these are the three measures i have created the first one is the extended amount which is nothing but sum of sales of extended amount which is a simple measure and next one is product cost m which is sum of sales of total product cost and the sales amount is nothing but sum of sales of sales amount so now what I have done in this chart, I have kept the x-axis as country, which is from the sales territory table and y-axis as extended amount, the measure which I have created. So this is the relationship between sales and sales territory table. It should be a simple uh, one to many relationship. So if you see, this is the sales table and this is the sales territory and you have a one to many relationship. So uh, sales on the sales side, it is the many and on the sales uh, territory, it is the one. So it's a simple one to many. So now this is simple. You can uh, how you, you just need to select the required chart, um, um, select the x-axis, whatever dimension you want, and y-axis, what is whatever measure you want. So now the challenge is, um, interviewer might ask you, like you you will be provided a filter. So in that filter, you will be have you can have the values extended amount, product cost, and sales amount. So based on the filter selection. But the measure inside this chart that is the y-axis should change based on the filter selection so let's go back now, now let's see how to achieve this so first what i'll do i'll create a table so in this i'll create the column name as something called measure okay and in this first column i'll keep extended amount okay and i'll Next one is sale product cost and third one is sales amount. Okay, so now I'll keep this table as filter. Filter measure. I'll keep this table some something called filter measure. So I'll delete this. So only three rows will be there. Only three rows will be there. So once I click on load, what will happen? The table will be created. So, yeah, the filter measure table is now created. It's having three rows. So now what I'll do, I'll, I'll use the uh, slicer option here and uh, I'll drag this column here, measure. And now if you see, um, I'll keep it here so that uh, it will be easier to understand. Uh, now I'll uh, make this drop down. So slicer settings, vertical list, I'll trim drop down. So now uh, based on whatever I select, it should change. Currently, it is not changing. So now to resolve this, what I'll do, I'll create one more measure in sales table. So new measure. I'll name this something called dynamic um, dynamic amount, some name. So now uh, what I'll do, I'll use this switch. Of, I'll use var operator var a is equal to selected value selected value of the filter value so whatever is the filter so here it is filter measure so filter measure filter measure of measure so now what will happen so we all know selected value uh, selected value will give you will always give you give you the value which is always selected in the filter so suppose in this case if sales amount is selected this selected value will return sales amount and store it in the variable a now what after this what you do you'll do a return return switch statement i'll use switch so expression a so uh, we are uh, uh, we are using the expression a because based on the value of a we need to show the value measures so a so if the value is sales amount we need to use the measure sales amount m if the value is um, extended amount we need to use the measure extended amount m if the value is 
uh, product cost product cost we need to use the measure product cost m so let's close we don't have an else operator so let's close here and this is the measure so now it is getting created so yeah uh, the dynamic measure amount got created measure got created so let's see sales amount is the correct value extended amount is the correct value and product cost is the correct value so we need to make sure that the value whatever you have written here this should match with this uh, the text here should be equal to this text if it is not matching then it will not work so now what i'll do i'll replace this measure instead of using extended amount i'll use this dynamic amount measure okay so since i have selected sales amount um, it is showing sales amount value so now what i'll do i select product cost now it is changing to the product cost value is changing now you should select about extended amount it is changing so to verify this what we'll do i'll create one more chart uh, uh, few uh, one more chart um, to show um, to, to make sure that we are showing the correct values so here sales amount sales amount m is x axis and sales territory country in the y axis so you uh, and let's enable uh, the uh, um, uh, data labels as well the columns uh, sorry yeah if you enable the data values we'll make sure that we are seeing the correct values so now if we have if i have selected sales amount it is showing 63 million for united states and united states and you know and for canada it is showing 16 million and here also it is showing 16 million similarly for other countries also it is showing now if i change it to product cost it is showing now i'll have, again have to replace this value with product cost okay so now again it is matching product cost is also matching and now next thing is extended amount so now extended amount now i'll replace it with this uh, extended amount here and again it is matching okay so in this way we need to use a single measure and make sure that uh, um, we use the switch statement so that we can change the uh, y-axis dynamically so in the next video um, we'll uh, let's see how to change the title uh, of the chart suppose now here uh, this is the measure name right then we count by country so what will make sure uh, so when we select extended amount uh, here the title should be shown as extended amount by country uh, if product cost is selected will uh, product cost by country if sales amount is selected sales amount by country so in the next video i'll explain you how to uh, change the title of this uh, chart based on the filter selection hope you like the video stay tuned thank you